Good morning, everybody. And today I will sing the glory of these 40 days. The glory of these 40 days we celebrate with songs of praise for Christ by whom all things were made, himself as fasted and as prayed. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And my brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those be born in Christ the chosen grace and royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. So thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountain of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with idols, idols, their abominations and their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers were, and they shall live on it forever. They and their children and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nation shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. The Lord who guards as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord who guards as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord of nations, proclaim it on distant idols and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord who guards as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem them from the hand of the conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the highest society. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. 
to drain the wine and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. And the, the Lord, Lord guards us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and the young man hold his well. And I will turn their mourning into joy, and I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd, shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless war room. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless war room. Cast away from all your pride, you have committed, says the Lord, to make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And the reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Mary and see that Jesus had come to them. What Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests of this and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is preferred performing in any size. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, was Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nations, and not only for the nation, but also to gather to one the dispersed children of God. From that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in the public among the Jews, but he left to the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover was near, was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. I praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Well, even Ezekiel proclaims the words of the Lord in the first reading, that God will restore his prayer. Unite the nation under one prince and make an everlasting covenant with them. And we see that being fulfilled in Jesus. And in the gospel, the Jewish people are concerned that Jesus' activities will cause trouble with the Romans. And we see how the Sanhedrin made plans to kill him. So now, the pace is bringing us out. And this weekend, we celebrate Palm Sunday. Jesus is going to be welcomed into Jerusalem as a victorious prince, but not as a king that the many people wanted. He is a king, not an earthly, but rather heavenly. And now let us offer our prayers to the Father who restores all things in Christ. For the church, May God continue to guide her in repentance and healings for the wrongs perpetuated by her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, and all they come to know the truth and beauty of God's promises, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by war, may the mercy of God bring an end to the torment, torment and institute lasting pieces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may 
they have continued to nurture and sustain our faith each and every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the sight of the Lord, may they rest eternally in his loving arms. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests living and deceased, who we remember in a special way at this mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I have Sister Jean joining us for this, and let's pray also for the success of the efforts of my whole basketball team uh, this afternoon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our pleas, Lord Jesus, our good shepherd and divine physician. We employ your mercy in the wake of an outbreak of serious illness and disease. Guide our efforts to prevent contagion and make preparation to care for those most vulnerable. Assist all professionals and volunteers who work to eradicate the epidemic now and spread. And we pray for the continuation of the, uh, of the vaccination may it take place as speedily as possible and may people receive the vaccination as quickly as possible. May our actions be marked by your steadfast love and selfless service and never by bad and fear. Restore your comfort and healing to the sick. Sustain and strengthen them by your grace. May they know your closeness as they carry the cross for us. And may all you have called from this life come to worship you eternally with all the saints as you grant consolation and peace to their Lord. Holy Mary, help the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Rod, protect them against epidemics. Pray for us. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. The three of your goodness we have this bread to offer. With earth which earth is given and human hands are made, we would come for us the bread of God. Blessed be God forever. To the mystery of this one and one, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord of God of all creation, the three of your goodness begat this wine to walk. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. God. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, the life sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. What a great thing. Praise the Lord for this thing. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promised for eternity. In Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up, Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord and Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the same passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment and the power of the cross, 
your judgment of the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we have claimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, the blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, life do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered newly into his passion. He took bread and gave me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was handed to the chalice. And once more, he gave me thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you are set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the Lord. Of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you help us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that our table of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is not the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops. And all the clergy and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in O God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us from every day from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have our sins. sins. The Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have our sins. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
the only one takes a man's sin is in the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, 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 I have not a word in my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Then I am not a question to say for eternal life. And act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most sacred, most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. St. Joseph, watch over me and care for me, just as you care for the child of Jesus. And by your mouth, I come to know your son, and so grow with faith and wisdom, and in the favor of God. And today we have our first reconciliation, the second session of it, for our religious education students. So keep that in your prayers. The experience of the sacrament will be experience of the forgiveness of God, the joyful experience that the Lord offers us. And also, this is Palm Sunday week, and yes, we do have palms to distribute this Sunday, and they will be distributed at all the masses. So come here to church and to receive your palms as, as, we, as we remember and celebrate uh, Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Let us pray. And one more thing I want to say. Two more things. This is the uh, food drive weekend for the food pantry of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, our Sharon Parish. So uh, non-perishables and donations, monetary donations will be acceptable, accepted in that church. And we also have the Mesco, the third blood drive of the year. During this time of the pandemic, blood donations, the blood donations are so critical. And uh, if you haven't signed up online, uh, there are still openings in the afternoon, like one o'clock and later, so that you can just walk in and probably uh, be able to give blood. In the morning, the, 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 the morning slots are all filled up, but the afternoon slots, there's still some slots open. 
Now let us pray. Have mercy on us, Lord, and your church, as she brings to you her supplication, and be attentive to those who are inclined their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those who have been redeemed by the death of your Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials in Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. And thanks be, thanks be to God. And I will sing verse 5 of the glory of these 40 days. Age to age. 